Welcome back to StarCraft II Legacy of the Void, and uh, I don't want to make any promises, but I think I might have sort of sorted my voice out a little bit. I mean, knowing my luck, I'm going to look back at this video and it's going to be crackle all over the place, but right now, I actually think I've sort of got the crackle under control, and uh, I think I might have done it in like the most ridiculously simple way possible. I think basically when my mic starts to get crackly I need to pull a Roy Treneman, turn it off and turn it on again. Because I am not hearing the crackle in my ears right now and I was before I pulled my jack out and then put it back in. So if I've solved that I'm actually going to be even more embarrassed about the quality of the last two videos and even more thankful that you know, I've wasted this experimentation on what is basically filler. Because, you know, you know, these three missions, they don't have the sheer production value that the campaign's going to have. And story-wise, it really is just bridging the gap between, you know, why the protests are going to be doing what they're doing in the main story. So, you know what? If this works out, if my voice sounds good, then I'm going to... I'm probably still going to get a Blue Yeti because they sound so good. <laughs> um, but... I've got this fixed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray, pray to Jesus and say thank you, Jesus, for making me turn it off, turn it on again. God, I, I really, I hope this ends up well, because um, I actually think doing the entire Legacy of the Void campaign, a game I've been looking forward to for so long, with that horrible sound quality, would have killed me. So, if this works. Okay, there's only one way to find out. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. Ah, oh, for the first time in today, I have hope in my heart. I have hope. I have hope for a better tomorrow. Hope for a better future. Zeratul is a powerful hero unit with special abilities. You can select him by pressing F3 or clicking the icon in the upper left corner of the screen. My lord, the intruders breached the temple. They will be upon us shortly. Seal the access way. I will contact the master. As the blade of Amon wills. <sighs> Zeratul, the Taldarim are retaliating. Hybrid are assaulting our forces. Have you made it into the temple safely? Indeed. But the access way has been sealed. The Taldarim likely suspect an intrusion. My Templar are engaged with the enemy. You will have to continue on alone for now. I will do my best to monitor your movements. Warriors, we must press on. The fate of our galaxy depends on it. Okay, so now a bit of a crackle has appeared in my ear, but it's not as bad as it was during that huff blog I did earlier. And I'm actually going to do something a little bit bold. I'm going to turn the game sound up a little bit more. Hopefully I'm not screwing myself here, but... There we go. But at this I point, I feel like slight crackle would be better than horrible voice. It was heavy crackle like that. So if this comes out with slight crackle, I, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. You know, I'm just going to take it, and then it's going to be all the more reason to hold out for a Blue Yeti. Zeratul, you are you are not you're not getting this done. You address me. Alright, in uh, forever portals. Cool, let's cast blink, let's get it done. Let's cast blink, let's get it done. Alright. So this mission, you know, it's one of those missions where you don't actually have a base, you have a hero. That photon cannon will reveal my presence, but if I enshroud us in void armor, we will be protected from its assault. Sway. Good to know, good to know. Let's go. Void armor, get it done. So, you know, it's not really a traditional RTS mission. I just have to survive with what I've got. So it's all about being clever and being strong. In the service, we can go no further this way. But what about this way? This way looks promising. There we go. 
A single shadow strike should eliminate it. Huh. Oh yeah. Shadow strike that I didn't use because you had only told me about it after the immortal was dead. There we go. There we go. Kill the thingy. There we go. Instant protest death. I said there we go a lot of times though. I'm very sorry. Just you know. The Taldarim have constructed anti-air cannons on the temple ramparts. Destroy them, Zeratul, and I can send you reinforcements. Reinforcements are exactly the sort of thing I want, so... Let's slaughter everything that can slaughter us, and then just have a good old kill. Now, here's where I think I might take a bit of a risk, check the sound up, because this is really loud in my ears, but... The other two videos I've done, the game sound, I feel, is actually too quiet, so... Well done. I am sending you reinforcements now. So it could just be that this ends up sounding just right on video. Or it could be that you know what I say. Shadow Strike, do it, do it! There we go. There we go, you need to, uh... I'm saying there we go a lot in this video for some reason. That's not a verbal tick of mine, is it? Did I actually get some reinforcements? I did. Come on, guys, join in. Be team players. I sense an observer overhead. It will reveal my presence. We should navigate around. Good. Can we? That's the question. Right, kill that thing. There we go. I feel like I had more stalkers than this just a second. What are you doing? What pathfinding was that? Go around. Alright, I will... I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You had to blink. Uh, let's just squeeze you here. I guess I can only see... Yeah, only when Zeratul is selected can we see the radius of these observers. You know what? The crackle in my ear sounds quite good, actually. I'm not hearing it. I'm hoping that just translates to the video itself. Yes, I am obsessing about this. If you followed me on YouTube for any amount of time, you know that I obsess. No, you can't act all surprised now. Just sorting this out. I just said there we go again. Don't think I'm not noticing this. I don't know why it's happening, but you just have to accept what's happening. So I'll just squeeze around here. Void armor, shadow strike, get it down. Alright, that one I didn't I didn't I'm not meaning to do this. Fuck. Alright, that's just a cannon, that's just a cannon. I'm gonna wait for the void armor there. Wait for the void armor cooldown. Void armor blink. Kill, kill, kill. There we go. That one I did mean. So. Come on, get the pylon down, get the pylon down before they can warp in. We have done it. Void armor, void armor, void armor. Desperate. I want to survive. I believe another of the Taldarine's cannons lies ahead. You know what? I'm just gonna move back, wait till all my good cooldowns are sorted. There's no reason to rush in and get ourselves killed because of it. Alright, slaughter, slaughter, slaughter. Get rid of those scouts for Not that scouts are in any way a threat. They are so weak. Were they this weak in Stump and Stump and One? Stump and One. They were a multiplayer unit that the Protoss had to use. And that's really all the Protoss had to you work with. Cannon, I feel I bad see. for them. Well done. Reinforcements are inbound. My allegiance is yours. All right. Uh, okay, I guess we do this main objective before that objective is so far away. All right, Zeratul, what do your Protoss eyes see? This alcove overlooks the central chamber. That must be where the lash is hidden. Who's my lash? That's my lash. But, you know, if any of my friends here haven't seen StarCraft before and you're confused, don't worry. We've never heard of Malash either, so. But they're doing something pretty bad, it looks. Truthbringer, the Terrans have failed and led these intruders here. The great work is in jeopardy. Abandon your fear, Malash. Redemption is at hand. Your universe will be freed of its suffering. Ready your people for war and await my command. 
it will be done. So that's either Amon or an agent of Amon. I'm not sure which. If it is Amon, then. How do we follow Amon to war? We are too late. There is still hope, Zeratul. That device. The Taldarim are using it to communicate with Amon. Yes, it is Amon. Yes, and if we destroy it, we can delay Amon's forces long enough to warn Artanis. I will see it done. The Dark Prelate is nearby. Find him! Okay, so if, if that is Amon, I'm slightly disappointed because it, it just means that the uh, Taldarim, I mean, uh, the, um, the Zel Naga just look like Protoss. It's not the greatest revelation the world has ever seen. So there we go. Now, the big question is do I pretend that my micro is good enough to use High Templar, or do I just merge them into an Archon straight away? That truly is the question. I'm going the wrong way. I was about to run right into the bit we're supposed to avoid. I don't think I didn't notice that. But now I'm... Oh, we go down here. Through this door. I'm actually going to wait for the Void Armour to come back just in case there's anything nasty waiting for us. There we go. There we go. Need a few storms. I'm pretty proud of myself there. Pretty proud. And we're going to wait for the Void Armour to come back again, because it's the only thing keeping us safe in these trying times. We must not hesitate. Alright, get him. Get him. Alright. Now, you people are indeed going to merge. Alright. You are just going to merge into someone who's dead. Haha! <laughs> Oh, the snappy lines. Eradicate them! Eradicate your face. Uh oh, Archons are warping in. We have to make sure they don't. Get them, get them, get them, get them! Ah, they didn't get shot up. Easy, easy. Speaking of which, there is a beautiful sequence of an Archon warping in in the um, opening cinematic to this. But I deliberately chose to not show the cinematic because. I showed some cutscenes and some wow videos that I did for what, and heard a video like that take down the copyright. Blizzard are desperate to show their cutscenes anywhere and everywhere for advertising purposes, and yet, you end up in the videos of a Let's Player, that is just not acceptable. The temple is linked directly to the void itself. I mean, I don't understand why. It's not like I'm costing them anything, especially if they are already showing off their cinematics everywhere. Like, you know, as an advert popping up, I've seen that cinematic a billion times, the uh, Legacy of the Void one. Yeah, I know that if I were to put it in this video, I'd be doomed. So, who even knows? So, you stay there, little man. I don't want you getting yourself dead. I'm just going to get a last bit of reinforcements. I'm gonna go kill Amon or something. There we go. The particle cannons have been destroyed, and I am sending you the last of our available forces. Ooh, so you fight are. Fight with honor, brothers. Ah, we will fight with honor and glory and all of that stuff. You know what? I'm not even gonna pretend. Let's just make you an outcome straight away. There is no point in pretense. So let's wait for our poor little Archon buddy. Power, the merging is complete. I love it when, um, you know, the lines get mixed up in these games. Like in World of Warcraft, it happens all the time. It's like bosses. Like, you are finally cornered, Nerezim. Taldarim, the true god demands their death. Do not fail him. Bosses like have lines that they say when they're like using abilities, and sometimes they use abilities like so quickly that the lines overlap, and it just leads to great things. Like I've had Gorfine to the boss, Gorfine say to me, uh, what is it? Uh, 
every death shall be death. I have had Slave Watcher Crofto say, My slaves! Those were slaves! And it's just, you know... I really should have saved my Shadow Strike for that, shouldn't I? You know what? You live, you learn, you die. You die, you certainly die, because I can't save you, because my micro is terrible, and I have got to accept this fact, so... There we go. Let's, let's kill this thing. Let's kill Amon! What's that? There's something I don't need to deal with. Alright, Amon's dead. Praise for all. The Tal'Darim are severed from Amon's guidance. Because he's dead. Something's happening. I'm detecting a powerful fluctuation of void energies. Saratoon, the keystone shall usher you unto hope. Tassadar, can it be? Tassadar's voice. Talus, I have been granted a vision from beyond, the answer to our salvation. Tassadar's voice in StarCraft 2 is nothing like his voice in Heroes of the Storm. And yet both of these games are being made for the front. And the same Let your suffering come to its end. I don't understand how that happens. Amon is collapsing the temple. I must leave now. At least with Hearthstone, some of the characters having different voices makes sense when you realize that the characters in World of Warcraft. Run! have not been voiced for ages like in the game, so it's probable that they have... Oh, they were illusions. You see how I tried to flee from illusions? They totally got me. Uh, dudes, follow up. Follow two. Go. Guys, fuck. join in! Join in, you turds! Alright, come on. We cannot afford any more of that fuckery. I'm not going to fight anyone unless I absolutely have to. This archway has collapsed. I must find another exit quickly. Come on, little stalkers. Pointless crusade to prolong the suffering of existence. Give in. I will never give in. Give in to nothing except temptation. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Right, kill that thing, kill that thing, kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Run! There we go, there we go. There we go. Oh, Nelly. Void armor, void armor. Come on. Come on. Thank the gods, this pathway is clear. Talus, I am nearly upon you. I don't know where to go. Sorry, Stalker. You're done. I am detecting your signal now. Come on, come on, come on. Jump! There is no time, Zeratul. Make your escape. I will deal with the Taldarim. There must be another way. Go. Now. Tell our Hierarch what has occurred this day. There can be no other way. Blizzard can't let female characters survive. Talus, unless they're evil. Of, I'm so worried about Sylvanas in Legion. Like, she's in the cinematic, which is amazing, but there's also like there's a, 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 a bit of writing on the website that is basically like, she might die. I'm like, Blizzard, please don't. Please don't kill some of the men. You have so many of them. Leave Sylvanas alone. Alright, so I need to kill 20 units with Xeracles. <laughs> I only use that ability like twice, so. To work on that one. And one with the shadows do not lose any unit. Ha! 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 I can do that. Maybe. So we're basically done. Let's see how this all sets up. At last, the prophecy has been fully realized. And through a great sacrifice, we have been given hope. A vision from the Zelnaka that may aid us in averting eternity. 
eternal desolation. Now, I must return to my people. They will not understand my actions, but I will face their judgment. Make them understand, for only Artanis, young hierarch of the Protoss, can unite our scattered factions as one before Amon's wrath engulfs the galaxy. There's no crackle in my ears. Like, I, I'm not going to be optimistic enough to say this video is going to come out well, because, let's face it, but when I did Here's the Storm last night, the crackle in my ears was, like, really noticeable. And it's been really noticeable when I when I tried to record Legs of the Avoid earlier. It was noticeable in my ears, and that's why I made the decision to sort of give myself a muted robot voice for the greater good. And yet, since uh, since simply pulling out those jacks and putting them back in, all clear. So if this video comes out well, I might have actually found a solution, and that would make me the happiest little boy in Canterbury. Uh, so I'm gonna have a look at this video. I'm cautiously excited. If it comes out well, then look forward to the actual, the actual main story of Legacy of the Void, which I am certainly looking forward to. I mean, I've already done all this. This is what I want to do. So if I can screw, or if I could have spent this screwing around with like sound and video quality and getting it just right in time for this, then these were three videos well spent, you know? So, I hope this turns out well, and even if it doesn't, I hope you still enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.